بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم children inshallah you are all doing well and I cannot believe that we only have around three more days left of these stories it's gone by so fast and then we'll be finishing the stories from the Holy Quran so I hope you've all enjoyed them so far now Remember a couple of days ago, I told you the story of Prophet Musa and Pharaoh. Do you remember? Do you remember when I told you that story? I told you the story of when he threw his stick and it turned into a massive, massive snake. And Pharaoh thought that it was magic and he called his magicians over and he tried to tell his magicians to do the same. And they did, but then Musa threw his stick again and it turned into an even bigger snake and it ate all the other snakes up. Do you remember watching that? If you haven't watched that video, you can find that video online and watch it. Because today I will be telling you another story. So today I'm going to be telling you another story of Prophet Musa and Fanaon, but it's going to be a different story. This time is going to be the story about the sea that split in half for Prophet Musa and his people. Have you heard that story before? Okay, let me tell you the story now. You see, as I mentioned before, Prophet Musa and his people lived in Egypt. They were good people. But the king of Egypt, Pharaoh, was very cruel and mean to them. And he did not like Allah and he did not believe in Allah. And he did not like the people who prayed to Allah. He used to say, I am the Almighty. He believed that there was no person, no thing and no God higher than him. He was very arrogant. Musa was a prophet of Allah. He loved Allah and Allah loved him too. Every time there was a problem, Prophet Musa asked Allah for help and Allah told him what to do. One day, Allah said to, the, said to Prophet Musa, Prophet Musa, you and your people travel by night. You travel by night with my servants. Prophet Musa called his people and said, Okay, pack your things and get ready. We are going away from Egypt. But nobody must know about it, okay? And nobody should see us. We should travel at night. So all the people, they left at night. There were many of them. And they all got their belongings, they all got their things, they all got ready, they brought their families and they were ready to leave. And amongst them, there were also some women and children. You see, the women and children walked very slowly and got tired very quickly. And that is why their caravan did not move very fast. Okay, remember this was in the middle of the night that they left with Prophet Musa. By then, Pharaoh had heard that Musa and the people had left and he got very, very, very angry and he ordered a whole army to go and chase them and he left with the army. In the morning, they reached the shore of the sea. They reached a big sea. It was then that Musa and the people saw some people following them. They were moving very fast. Who was it? Who can guess? Yes, it was the army and the soldiers. It was Pharaoh and his soldiers and they had catched up to them. Everyone became so scared and they started to panic. Oh no, are they going to catch up to them? Because there was nowhere to go. They were trapped. There was a sea in front of them and they cr couldn't cross the sea. And behind them was Pharaoh and his army and the soldiers. 
They were behind them so they couldn't go back. It was impossible. There's a big sea in front of them. How are they going to cross it? Where could they go? And who could help them? And guess what? Allah came to help. And he said, Musa, strike the sea with your stick. And guess what happened? As soon as the stick of Musa touched the waves, a miracle happened. The waters split in half and it parted waves. The waves hung in the middle of the air and they did not fall. And the floor could be seen. It was a path. Allah had made a path for them to cr cross the sea. Musa and his people hurried between the waters between the walls of the waters and Pharaoh and his soldiers were right behind them. Pharaoh saw the sea opened and he commanded his soldiers to follow Musa and his people. He said, follow them. So as Musa and his people were crossing the, the, the split sea, so was Pharaoh and his soldiers. They were following them. But as soon as Musa and his people crossed the sea, guess what happened? The waves fell down on Pharaoh and his soldiers and Pharaoh called out, There is no God, God but you. But it was too late by now. All of them had drowned in the sea. None of them were saved. Allah is the Almighty and powerful, not Pharaoh or any other individual. He helps those who love him and pray to him and he saves those who trust him you can find this surah you can find this story in surah number 26 verses 52 to 68 that's surah number 26 verses 52 to 68 i cannot believe that the sea had split open the whole sea split in half and it and it helped prophet musa to cross the sea. I wonder what they thought when they were crossing the sea and they could see the water above them. And I wonder how they felt when they saw Pharaoh and his soldiers following them and chasing them in the middle of the sea. But you see, this is a big miracle from the Holy Quran. Allah saved Musa and he saved his pure servants. And he saves the people of Musa as well. And this teaches us that we shouldn't be arrogant. We shouldn't have so much pride and believe that we are the best. And there's no one higher than us and no one better than us. And this also teaches us that we should believe in Allah. We should trust him. And even sometimes when things seem impossible and we think, this is impossible. How is Allah going to help us? This is impossible. How is this going to happen? Always believe that Allah will help. Always believe that we have a Lord and a God who is greater than anything else. And he will always help us. I hope you enjoyed today's story. And as I said, there's about three more, only three more days left until we finish these stories from the Holy Quran. So I really hope you have been enjoying them. If you haven't watched any of the previous episodes, you can catch up on, on YouTube. Okay, you can watch them all. So thank you so much for watching today. And inshallah, I'll be seeing you tomorrow with another story. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.